the year 2638. Six world wars. Three of them in the last 200 years. One third of the population. Six billion people dead. Radiation storms, disease, famine claim another one billion lives annually. Two factions are still at war for control of what remains. Genetically enhanced humans called alphas. Mutants and non-altered humans called rebels. This time, it was called the Cleansing War. Distance to contact? Still running, sir. 20,000 meters. We're gaining. Heading? Skirting the coast. Probably heading for a base in Tunisia. Speculation is unnecessary. Yes, sir. Weapons officer. Intercept time. 70 seconds, sir. Power up. Forward. Back. Sir, we have two, I repeat, two additional bogeys. Three ships in all. Hold your position. Weapons officer, prepare to fire full pattern. Full pattern, sir. Here they come. Forward batteries. Fire. Stacking their shields. Full speed ahead, come to a heading of 270. Yes, sir. They're commencing their attack run, brace for impact. Damage report. Shields holding, but barely. We took overpressure ruptures in the port bay. Ready on forward batteries, sir. Hold your fire. They can't penetrate unless we break their formation. They're coming around again, sir. We're hit. Aft engineering section B. Casualties. Evacuate running. forward sections E2 to E4. But the damage is not in. Do it! Helm, at my command, come to a heading of 090. Maximum ascension. Yes, sir. All power to flank batteries. Evacuation underway. Estimated completion time 15 seconds. Full speed ahead. Here they come. Hold your course. Sir? Hold your course. Sir? Hold. Sir! Now! Full ascension! Full ascension, sir! Weapons fire! Yes, damage report. Structural damage sustained in evacuated areas only, sir. No additional casualties. Distance to rebel target? Last target fling, now in range. May I speculate, sir? Go on. Their communications are out. They may be trying to surrender. Noted. Priority transmission, sir. It is a ceasefire. We are instructed to disengage. Fire main batteries. Firing one and three. Now, read me the message we just received. Go on. Captain Winter is instructed to disengage combat runs and prepare for a priority transmission. Top secret, sir. Set course for a low altitude flyby over the Tunisia province. Course laid in, sir. Sorry to wake you, Colonel Brandon. What is it? We've just received an automated ground-based message for you. Your operation has been canceled. You are to report immediately to Central for new orders. By whose command? This is top priority, coded and verified. Out.
Why did you pull me off a of combat assignment? You're needed elsewhere. A truce has been concluded with the enemy forces. There is no time to lose. Please pay close attention to your briefing, Commander. There's a great deal for you to absorb. Neural lock initiated. Five, four, three, two, oh, one, no. zero. All drive, full reverse. Full reverse, now. Report. It's got us, Hawk. We're not pulling free. We're on full reverse and it isn't holding. Don't fight it. We can't beat the hull. Give me full lateral power. I'll take man to control. You've got it. Flame out. Drive one and three are down. Pull the remaining drive. All I need is maneuvering power. But the hull! We're going through. Through? It's only been done with probes. There's no other way. Trust me, Cassie. It's our only chance. Oh. Watch your levels. Let the hull do the work. Put every last atom of juice you can spare to the shields. Oh, sweet mother. Try to calculate our exit point. All the instruments are going crazy. Give me anything. Wait. Check gravitation. It's off the dial. Watch it. Tell me if it goes flat for a moment. The shields are crumbling. It is now. It is flat. We're at the midpoint. Room spacing T minus 10 seconds. Brits are dropping an EX3. We must have lost the shields. Come on, baby. All shields are out. Power is failing. The ship is breaking up. We can do it. We can do it. Hell is breached. We're losing pressure fast. Five more seconds. Life support is under 20%. Three seconds. Two. Come on. Damage report. Oh no. No. Come on. of this importance should not be compromised. Particularly by the addition of enemy personnel. Rebel forces are in possession of the same information. They would certainly fight us every meter of the way. Without a joint force, we couldn't guarantee ever reaching our destination. And time is of the essence. Why Anson Hawk? Anson Hawk is the only man who has navigated the wormhole and survived. Your briefing implies that luck played a significant role. This man is worse than a rebel. He's a war profiteer, not aligned to any cause. He makes a mockery of our efforts. Captain Winter, the success of this mission is crucial. It must be performed under the strictures we have outlined. The Dark Planet must be reached, and the real reason for the truce must remain a secret. Understand us. You have been carefully selected for this mission. Your allegiance to our command is vital. We trust that you will do whatever is necessary for our cause to be successful. Understood. Colonel, look this way, please. Colonel Brennan began her military service at the age of seven in computer infiltration. She was awarded Class I distinctions for valor and ingenuity, both on world and off. She was given a ship's command at the age of 23. Years later, she retired her wings and became a colonel in the Elite Forces Unit. Thank you, Liz. It's nice to see you again. I'll tell Niles you said hello. Thank you. General. He's dying, isn't he? Yes. 
rare disorder of the lymphatic system. Midcore can't find an antigen. And replacement parts are scarce. Off the record, General? Of course. I understand the particulars of my orders, but why me? You are ideally suited to this situation. I need somebody with brains and loyalty. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I still believe in intuition. Can we really trust the Alphas? We have no choice. We've negotiated as many precautions as time allowed. The Scylla is a rebel-built ship produced with Mercedes. It's fully automated and has three backup systems, so it shouldn't give you any problems. You will share equal rank with Alpha Commander Winter. Each of you will choose two crew personnel. Rank and job description is up to you. I'd like to take Lieutenant Byron with me. Is she tough? Yes, sir. And very creative. I'll take care of him. If I were you, I'd take the other one from MedCorps. Personal defense? Sidearms only. Anything you want below a Class C. We're trying to keep it simple, Colonel. My parents... My entire village was exterminated by an Alpha ship commander. He wanted to keep it simple, too. This damn war has killed just about anybody of any worth. What's right and wrong is no longer the question. Maybe this truce is a small step in the right direction. But that is off the record. The world is not always what we wish it could be, and wishes won't change it. You are responsible to have your men at staging area 16 at 0300 hours tomorrow morning. And what you do between now and then is not of my concern. I have no doubt, Commander, that you will do your very best with this mission and ensure the rebel cause. Dismissed. Anson Hawk. I'm Commander Winter. This is my helmsperson, person, Solera. I've been ordered to offer you a full reprieve contingent on your navigational assistance on a joint Alpha Rebel mission. The war's over? The what? We're working under a negotiated armistice. Oh. What's wrong? What's the matter? Both sides tired or desperate? Your criticism is misplaced, Mr. Hawke. Your contribution to the war effort amounts to precisely nothing. I did my part. The rebels are outnumbered, but at least they fight honorably. There's nothing I despise so much as someone who believes in nothing. We'll see you in another hundred years. You don't think I believe in something? What do you believe in, Mr. Hawke? I believe in the future. <laughs> What's the mission? The wormhole. You're still the only person to have gone through it and to have come back alive. Why the hole? If you accept, you'll. Sign on as Astro Navigator. If I get you through, I go free? My orders are to release you to the Copia Project, an independent agricultural satellite. There, you'll spend the rest of your life tending your vegetable patch. One more question. Yes? What's so important about the Dark Planet? I haven't said anything about the Dark Planet. You didn't have to. You'll be briefed on the Starship Scylla. Restricted and confidential information will be discussed with you. And I doubt if you'll still believe in your future then, Mr. Hawke.
Rebel craft dock, sir. Commander Brenton and two crew. Free flight checklist? Completed, sir. Consoles? Consoles are active. We are ready to proceed. Very well. When the shuttle disengages, set a course for the Tanazaki system. You're clear direct to deep space and eight ergons light speed. Oh, and then, Solara, you'll join us for the briefing. Attention. Viral detection procedures are concluded. Rebel party emerging from decontamination unit. Commander Winter, analysis concluded. Brendan and crew on their way to you now. Commander Brendan of the I know. Rebel... We've met. Liberia, five years ago, you executed the 114th at Monrovia. Executed? Commander, keep your priorities straight. Personal grudges are a mistake in such close quarters, and I doubt you have the stamina to make me your enemy. Are we clear? I'd like to tour the ship now with my men. As you wish. Why do you stare at me? When were you enhanced? I was 10. How did it happen? Were you forced? The Alphas had taken over our community. My guardians offered me to them. Did you ever see your... Did you ever see your parents again? No. Rebel missiles killed them. You've done well, Solera. You've risen quickly in your rank. A helmsperson under Winner's command is an enviable position. I work hard. My intelligence is high. But there must have been others with more experience. Mr. Hawk, it is absolutely forbidden for an officer and his subordinate to have a sexual liaison. Violation of this regulation is punishable by execution. I see. Hawk is a renegade bastard, and his navigation of the wormhole was sheer luck. You've been afraid it wasn't, sweetheart. And who are you? I'm that bastard you seem to know so much about. Anson Hawk. I'm a commander on this mission, and I expect to be addressed as such. Of course. Yes, sir. You seem to be annoying everyone, Mr. Hawk. Let's get on with the brief. This is our objective. Wormhole 762, a high inertia black hole in the Tanazaki system. Three years ago, an alpha force attempted to navigate 731, a wormhole of less gravitational mass. We weren't briefed on this. It was to be a top secret military option. Disappear down the hole and avoid pursuit. Or hide a fleet on the other side and burst through with a surprise attack. 
It's of no importance. Because the mission failed. The ship was crushed before it even reached the midpoint of the hole. As I said, it's of no consequence. Reinforced ships in Class A computers won't do the job. In the hole, it's the intangibles that come into play. Such as? The feel of the ship when you're in the hull. The navigator's moves before there's a problem. Neural computers are reactive, defensive. They can spot what's wrong and try and correct it, but by then it's too late. The hole is one big ride. You have to go along with that ride and trust your instincts to get you through. You're juggling a lot of unknowns, Mr. Hawk. I've studied this solar. I've flown her. She reacts well. That's not what she meant. I've looked at your medical reports. An alpha medical report. I've seen it. They think I'm nuts. Are you? Are you nuts, Mr. Hawk? I lost a crew member flying the hole. She was my wife. There hasn't been an hour in the past five years I haven't thought about it. You've resisted all behavioral reconditioning. You mean a brain wipe? Robots do not make good human beings, Commander. Can you get us through the wormhole? And back? I don't know. I remember going in, but I don't remember coming out. This is our objective. It was long suspected from the gravitational pull within the wormhole that there was a star in close orbit with a planet. This has now been confirmed. Mr. Hawk's nav computer recorded the sphere. In fact, he used it to slingshot around it. Data retrieved from probes indicate that this world is inhabitable. If it is, it will be the first planet ever discovered capable of sustaining life outside of a controlled environment. So this mission boils down to two basic questions. Can the dark planet be reached? And can its environment sustain human life? Have you anything to add? Only that my crewman and I will carry out our duties in good faith. And I trust that you and your crew will do the same. Our superiors negotiated the peace for this purpose, Commander. I think it's time for us to put our suspicions aside. Agreed. I saw that beta holds are restricted. I'll need access to all areas of the ship. I'm afraid that when the drive was engaged, we suffered serious MDM leakage. The beta holds are contaminated, and as you know, they cannot be purged while in flight. Oh, I have the duty to report a casualty among my crew. You've lost one of your two crewmen? Yes, he was our physician. Have you asked command for a replacement? No. Well, unless you object, I didn't think it was necessary. There's still your doctor aboard. I'll have to verify this event. As expected. Where was this man precisely? Beta hold. Corridor B5. How did it occur? I was completing the flight list. I powered down the drives and had re-engaged them when the event occurred. The ship's backup systems contained the leak to section B5. It's MDM poisoning, Commander, no doubt about it. Once he inhaled the gas, his whole system seized. He had probably less than 15 seconds to live. Then you're verifying the Alpha report? Yes, Commander. I'd like to study the event in the ship's limb banks. Of course. Now, if I have allayed all your fears, I would like to return to my report. Solera, freeze the body for autopsy on our return to command. Also, we shall need new computations of ship stores. Sir? With reference to our diminished crew. Commander, 
Are you familiar with the beat game, Samadhi? Yes, it's a game of art and spirit. We have six hours until we reach the perimeter. I loaded the game on the computer. I thought we may get to know each other, have some fun. I have no intention of playing games with you, Mr. Hall. The presentation was very impressive, but I don't trust war profiteers any more than I trust alphas. Even jackals have to make a living. You put that very well. Medical log of the starship Scylla. Helmsperson Solera reporting. Dr. Theodore Templeton was cryo-freeze for autopsy at 1300 hours. Log complete. What you're talking about. You read my thoughts on the bridge, Solera. Tell me. Mr. Hawk, it is my duty to report all conversations that I have with you and rebel personnel to Commander Winter. For your own welfare, leave me alone. Have you ever seen an unaltered human before? What do you mean? I mean up close. In the flesh so you can smell him. Have you ever breathed the same air as a natural, unenhanced human, just becoming an alpha? I didn't think so. I failed to see the importance You are of... highly trained, Solera. Very intelligent, anybody can see that. But you have so little life experience. So here you are, a natural, unenhanced human, and in spite of your experience, inferior, both physically and mentally, and lacking in the general aspects of decorum and deportment. A woman's got a right to be curious, even an alpha. I have work to do. Curious of what? You are a woman, aren't you? I am. Answer my thoughts, Solera. Anson Hawk, please report to the car. Mr. Hawk, you are needed on the car. I've never had a man inside me. Do you understand? Mr. Hawk, just go to the bridge. So, Mr. Hawk, does that look familiar? Set course. Setting course. 
Delta one nine. Ahead, three quarters, all engines. Belay that. Sir? What is it, Mr. Hawk? Slow engines, one quarter. Solera, do a detailed sweep of the region. I'm picking something up out there. Sir, I'm reading self propelled mines. Ours or theirs? Rebel manufacturer, sir. How long to disarm? Forget Brendan up here. Plugging in. Engine is one quarter. Yes, sir. I confirm. They're rebel mines, not set for this quadrant. Must have drifted. That's unlikely. What do you mean? They have been altered, sir. How? Unknown. I've no way to disarm them. Well, your rebel mines are between us and the hole. How large is the field? The mines surround the hole to a depth of 200,000 kilometers, sir. I'm reading approximately 100,000 mines. Mr. Hawk? It's straight for him. Rebel mines are sophisticated, too sophisticated. They'll read evasive maneuvers and attack. Head straight at them, they'll bank away, they'll think we're space junk. Commander? I don't know, I've never seen that maneuver before. Look, now you can have me navigate, or you can drop me off at my tomato and cucumber paradise, but you can't have both. This is the commander. Shut down main reactors. Dump all excess heat. Reduce hull temperature to absolute zero. Down cycle, life support. Now what? We wait. We're nearly blind like this. It's scanning us. Shouldn't we low power the reactor? At least put the weapon systems back online? Turn on one more thing, and... As long as we drift and use little energy, we should be safe. Can't the mind sense the energy we're using now? Oh? We'll find out. You claim to have done this before. I was kidding. You are a bastard, Hawk. Huh? You've been lucky this time, Hawk. But don't you ever gamble with this mission again. This is the last of the hot tonic. Flavor capsule? Thank you. It cleans itself. Automatically. Mint systems activated. Activated. Maybe we got lucky.
and maybe not. They've locked onto us. Three bogeys. No, four. Power up old drive. They've armed themselves. Incoming! All energy to the shields and to the drives. Come online. I want us out of here. Yes, sir. ETA. Two minutes. Not fast enough. Ejected paddle. Paddle ejected. All I did is buy us some time. Reactors. Still coming online. Incoming. These damn things will bury us. Prepare the clipper for launch. Power down the reactors. Relay that. I'm gonna lure the mines away. No, Mr. Hawk, there's no contingency. I concur. Your navigational skills are needed at the wormhole. I'm not trying to get myself killed. I'm just trying to get us out of this mess. I have three mines tracking us, sir. I'm the only one that stands a chance of succeeding. Mines incoming, 10 seconds. Okay, it's either one of you. And 100 to 1, that person dies. Seven seconds. I'm the only one expendable. Four seconds. Two seconds. Ejected paddle. Paddle ejected. Seven mines incoming, sir. Impact in 60 seconds. How many paddles left? One paddle remaining. I'm asking your permission to launch the clipper with me at the helm. What is your command? Forty-five seconds. I hope you're the pilot you say you are. Prejudices die hard in war and peace, don't they, Commander? If either of us went, our duty would be compromised. Power down the reactors. Yes, sir. Sir? Yes? Nothing, sir. He's on his way. This is the stupidest idea yet, Hawk. Seals complete. Disengage Clipper. Winner, don't try to contact me once I'm off. One sniff that you're alive and I'll be back to finish the job. Disengaging now. we clear the field? Um, at the current rate of drift, four hours, sir. I'll be in my quarters studying the wormhole on the nav simulator. Any help you can give me, Commander, will be welcome. <laughs> Will 
Will you miss him, Commander? see me? Has Winter tried to contact his command? Negative. All comm frequencies have been silent since we left Earth orbit. I checked to make sure it was still operational. Maybe the Alphas can be trusted after all. Do you remember Reykjavik? Your first field command. I lost my ability to leave that day. We've been through too many missions together, Commander. You held your position. You were the only one that did. You made the difference. I underestimated the enemy's strength. Is this about Anson Hawk? No. Yes. I thought I knew who he was. And now? I underestimated him. My briefing did not prepare me for what he demonstrated today. Before this war, he was a school teacher. He taught philosophy, and he dabbled in hydroponics. I wish I'd taken the time to get to know him. You have entered a contaminated area. Please evacuate immediately. Warning. Please evacuate immediately. Warning. Please evacuate immediately. Warning. Please evacuate immediately. Sleep. No. With the ship powered down, this is the ideal time to get to know the enemy. Meaning? Meaning it's time I stop underestimating people. Winter has asked my suggestions to fly the hole. I'd like to think he was being sincere. Don't worry, I'm just gonna stretch my wings a little. I'll be careful. You're a champion, Byron. Champion? Used to mean something. But the 
contamination. There is no contamination. Winner's got a squad of stowaways down there sitting, polishing their hardware. For what? He'll use them to take over the ship once we get through the wormhole. That's what I thought, but that's not what bothers me. What do you mean? There's something else down there. We've cleared the minefield, sir. Yes, sir. ETA, one hour. Good. I'll be joining you on the car. We must have cleared the minefield by now. We'll be needed on the bridge soon. How far is Just it? Just up ahead, but the hold's sealed. Not hardwired as a fashion statement. Won't they notice when somebody tries to access the hold? This is a Mercedes built ship. The systems are sophisticated but slow. I can always stay one step ahead. Where are you dying off, Commander? You're very direct, Mr. Paul. I'm a cerebral fever. I'm a mutie. I never use that word. I keep underestimating you. What happened? Medcore removed the damaged section of my cortex. Psychor analyzed my potential and implanted the necessary computer to become useful to the cause. Your cause or theirs? My cause is theirs, Hawk. I wouldn't be alive without them. You've been fighting your whole life, haven't you? Yes. Have you ever just sat on the damp earth and listened to things grow? You made love under the stars and howled at the moon? I have no such appetites. My life has purpose. Winner's life has purpose. Solera's life has purpose. Did you know her entire community was destroyed by rebel night raids? The Alphas have exterminated billions of defenseless people. We're just digits to them. To be added, subtracted, and divided. You cannot possibly compare us to them. You were citing Commander. The sight of angels is seldom self-evident. And doesn't that apply to you too, Mr. Hawk? You were a captain in a rebel insertion squad, weren't you? I was a great 15. One of the highest and most prestigious. Insertion is the business of death. You didn't achieve your distinctions without getting blood on your hands, did you? On your last mission, you were inserted behind enemy lines and disappeared. Why did you desert your command, Mr. Hawk? I didn't like who I'd become. Like I said, robots don't make good human beings. You've had luxuries most of us can't afford. You were born without disease and lucky enough not to carry any recessives either. I was a freaky birth. Children born like me were thrown in the garbage pile alive. My parents begged a rebel squad to take me. I owe them my life.
all make sense. What is it? Benedict. It's deployed like a satellite, then it jams telemetry on a narrow band. They're not that sophisticated against new navigational systems. Unless you were forced to come in on a very narrow trajectory. Like entering a wormhole. With this in orbit, winter will control access to the hole. And the dark planet. What is so important about the dark planet? still can't trust me. This is a black op mission, Mr. Hawk. Strictly need to know. Are you with me or not? Let's go. Find Byron. He'll know what to do. I'll get back to the bridge and determine whether to seize the ship before or after you get us through the hole. Be careful around Solera. She's a telepath. How do you know? I asked. She's very beautiful. So are you, Liz. I'll see you on the bridge. Commander Winter. This is Winter. Status. Security's been breached, Commander. Brendan and Mr. Hawk found outside Beta Hole B2. Hawk? Bring him to the bridge, and Brendan to my quarters. Restrain him. Mission is go. Roger, we are go mission. Drop the weapon! Get on the deck! Get on the deck! Kiss the floor! Now! Shuttle him! And check the others. Then secure the beta hold and await my orders. Yes, sir. How did you get back into the ship? You and Brendan were working together from the start, weren't you? And those rebel minds were just uh, set up to get you outside the ship, huh? I don't have the luxury of developing a conscience right now, Mr. Hawk. One of you will talk. What makes you think you can trust me to get us through the hole? I don't trust you. That's why we'll navigate it together. We're 30 minutes from the perimeter. Check the coordinates with Solera. I support my captain's actions, Mr. Hawk. So you didn't know? I await your orders. Is the prisoner secure? Yes, sir. The beta hold. Did you go in? I am a prisoner of war. I demand- Your war is over. You demand nothing. Dismissed. The terms of the armistice grant me plenty of potential powers to use force to ensure ship's safety if I can determine that it has in fact been threatened. So just answer my questions and I promise you You'll feel no pain. Pleasure.
pain. Pleasure. How long have you known Anson Hawk? Screw you. You'll die this way. Life. Ship is secure. Time to die, Byron. Powering down. It'll take a few seconds. Collect their weapons and comm links, and get dressed. Yes, sir. Unit one, is the hold secure? All secure, sir. Unit two, do you read? Roger, Commander. We're in position, sir. And unit three? All clear, Commander. Brendan is secure. All units, prepare for entry into the wormhole. We are going in. Unit one, out. Unit two, out, sir. Roger that, unit three, out. Solera, are we ready? Coordinates set, sir. ETA, four minutes and counting. Winter, when this is all over, would you mind telling me what it's all about? 
I'm sure Solera would like to know as well. Want something? Unplugger. Got it. Set her down now. Come on, Doc. Come on. Okay, Commander. Come on, Commander. Reading. What, Fletch? What? Her neural response is low. Awesome sensation. Got a Massage your heart. Come on, Commander. Come on. Come here. Final thoughts, Mr. Hawk. Mr. Hawk, I need final instructions. Good job, Cassie. No, Mr. Hawk. We've got to keep the ship perpendicular to the axis. There is a midpoint where there is no gravity. We've got to keep the ship vertical. The axis is the hardest to navigate. What do you mean? We can't let it slip a tenth of a click off course. The gravitation will tear us to pieces. The rest is up to me. Shields up. I'll take manual control. I have a craft approaching. 100,000 meters and closing fast. It's a frigate. M-class killer ship. No identification. She's running dark. Open up a frequency. Yes, sir. No response. She's jamming us. Shields. Shields are coming up. Speculation, Mr. Hawk? I know what it is. It's a hunter killer vessel. They want this ship. They're not going to ask nicely. We're outgunned. Running is useless. And you're outmaneuver. Not for long. This ship is designed for the hull, not combat. How did they get through the minefield? And the one they laid it. They're moving between us and the hull. Give me all the power you can. They're firing. Shield holding. Barely. Pull up. Buy me some time. You better think of something fast, Winner. Pain. No! Easy, no, easy, no, easy. No. You're safe, you're safe. It's okay, Commander. You're safe now. The worst is over. Hmm? Am I really okay, Doc? Or did he scramble my brains? Your heart rate's a little high. Blood pressure's up there. Other than that, you're stable. Don't count on it. <laughs> How long was I unconscious? Half hour. Status? We're at the perimeter of the hold, but we're under attack. What? Pirate vessel with chip killing systems on board. Have we been able to get an SOS to Central? Negative. All frequencies have been jammed ever since Winter took over the ship. What now, Commander? Winter's got Hawk up on the bridge? That's affirmative. We're taking out the Benedict. I'm running out of tricks here. Brace yourself! Hawk saw any troopers below. Affirmative. We took out three. And you said there were three guarding the hole. Yeah, at least two. Structural damage on levels two and four. Forward batteries are charged, ready to return fire. Everything you've got the four shields! Hawk, get inside that perimeter! Ahead, fall. The hole is just beyond! Cover me!
thousand meters and closing. Clark, watch it. They'll manage another salvo. Incoming! Drop shields. Maximum power to engines. Shields falling. We've got about 20 seconds before their guns power up. Hawk, get us inside their perimeter! He's in there too tight. Give me your weapon. My arm malfunctioned during the seizure. Cover me. It's all clear, Commander. Come on. Let's go! meters. They're still backing towards the hole. We're inside their perimeter. The instant they pull lateral fire. Yes, sir. <laughs> Unit one, do you copy? Roger, sir. That's a firm. That is report. Over. We're in place. We have five debtors. Three remain in hold. At least two enemy cocked. Hawk has escaped from custody and is on his way to you now. The Benedict must be guarded at all costs. I'm beginning countdown and systems check of the satellite now. Launch will occur in 10 minutes. Attention. Attention. The Benedict system is now activated. The satellite will launch in T minus 10 minutes.
Please evacuate beta holes and assume emergency position. The Benedict system is now activated. Attention. Please evacuate beta holes Probes. and assume I want them sent to the planet's position. surface, and I need atmospheric and soil analysis as soon as you get them. Yes, sir. Hull breach. Decompression imminent on sea deck. Seal off all affected areas. Yes, sir. Liz, come on. Hawk, is that you? Yeah. I'm on my way to you. Don't say another word, Hawk. Channels are open on all jacks. They can hear everything we say. I know. Yeah. Be careful. Walk out. Receiving preliminary analysis on the probe, sir. Well, what is it? Sensors show carbon, nitrogen, and water. There's oxygen too, richer than on Earth, and hydrogen. Soil probes show worms and microorganisms. The planet is habitable and Override seal. Stop right there. Turn around. Slowly. Drop your gun. Now! Raise your hands. Drop to the deck! will launch in T minus five minutes. Can you stop the countdown? Cover me. Go. Can she do it? Everyone will be killed! 
must open the whole doors now. You cannot murder your whole crew. I will not allow it. You'd kill me too? We're just gonna depressurize the hold. Can't you stop him? I can override any computer function, but I can't stop him from just throwing a switch. Better get to that airlock. Can you patch into the navigation systems from here? Sure. Do it. Okay. Get ready. Attention. Evasive lateral. Attention. Evasive lateral. Decouple the launch doors, they won't open. The satellite will explode when it smashes into them. Danger. Danger. The Benedict satellite will launch in T minus three minutes. Please evacuate the beta hold immediately. Danger. Please evacuate the beta hold immediately. Danger. Please evacuate the beta hold immediately. Come on. has a failsafe. With the doors compromised, it won't launch. You've lost it, Winner. It's got to stop. Twenty-eight, twenty-seven, twenty-six, twenty-five, twenty-four. 
Friends now, Solera. It's just off. Okay, Hawk. I think it's time you told us why we came to this planet. Put us in orbit. Orbit established. This tape has been pre-recorded to be played for the crew of the Scylla upon reaching stable orbit of the Dark Planet. What you're about to hear has only been known to your commanders Winter and Brendan and to the governing bodies of the Alpha and Rebel forces. Eight months ago, Rebel units utilized chemical agents in the defense of Mauritania. Such agents were designed to remain active for a short time, usually less than a few hours. This time, there was a mutation caused by interaction with biological weapons employed by the Alpha opposition. A viral organism was produced, which is not restricted to human or even mammalian life. It acts as an exterminant destroying everything down to soil bacteria. The organism is now airborne and has distributed itself over all continents. Neural computer projections indicate that Earth will be uninhabitable in two years. Attention. Attention. Please prepare for a live transmission. Attention. Please prepare for a live transmission. Live transmission initiated. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Captain Winter? 
This is Hawk, Anson Hawk. I have Commander Brendan with me and Helmsperson Solera. Hello, Liz. General, Commander Winter is dead. He broke the truce by bringing a satellite on board and died with his squad trying to defend it. I regret to report two casualties among my crew. It's distressing, but the mission must take precedence. Since your departure, the virus has killed over one billion people. It's one-sixth of the population. By our best estimates, we'll be able to save less than half that number. The Earth eventually will not be able to sustain those who stay behind. As a result, an uninfected military contingent comprised of both Alpha and Rebel forces will be sent to you to begin recolonizing survivors on the Dark Planet as soon as possible. This undertaking is nothing less than starting up a whole new world from scratch. Class systems, population distribution as to age, genetic background, military... No! Hawk? They're sending a war machine, Liz. A system oriented more towards death than life. They've already destroyed one world. They're capable of destroying this one as well. What are you saying? I don't know. But maybe it's time to see what being human really can mean. The Benedict is operational, a legacy of your own deceit. I know Winter was not acting alone. We have the chance to make this planet the haven it should be, free of your politics and your war. Being naive, Hawk, I'll never get away with this. Oh, I think he will, Harry. I have two intelligent, dedicated, and beautiful women with me. They represent the best that both worlds have to offer. Between us, the Benedict, and the Wormhole, we can stop you. The survivors will come in peace, in partnership, and in friendship, or they won't come at all. And so? And so finally, the war is over. Don't take too long getting used to it. We'll be in touch. It's funny. It doesn't look so dark anymore, does it? Solera set coordinates for landing. Liz, one quarter speed ahead. Course plotted, Hawk. Ahead, one quarter power. The stars are shining and the day is full of promise. Let's go home. The starship Scylla landed on the dark planet. My name is Solera Elizabeth Hawk, and I was born 12 months later.